Hi everybody, I am Dr. Zainab Bora and I have the pleasure of having Dr. Adit Kamodia with me today who secured rank 1 in uh, this year's NEET SS in radiology. So very uh, proud to have you uh, Dr. Adit and congratulations. So how are you feeling? Um, thank you ma'am, thank you for this introduction ma'am. Ma 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 it was actually an unexpected result for me as it is for everyone, for every any entrance exam. You don't yeah. expect to be rank one. You just expect to be in some place in some rank. But yeah, man. So that really is. But yeah, I'm sure that you know your your past results would have uh, led you to this because you've always had uh, you know stellar results. If you can tell us you know quickly your journey throughout you know your medicine career, I think that would be a good start. Ma'am, actually, uh, in 2015, I I had all India rank 89 in AIMS UG exam. AIMS UG. I had Gujarat yeah. rank 17 and I joined BJMC Ahmedabad. After okay. that, um, I'm, in my intern year, I gave uh, need PG. I got all India rank 13 in that. And um, I mm -hmm. joined radiology in Sabdarjan. After finishing, yeah. um, I just passed out this January and I gave this two exam, the FICRA uh, fellowship entrance and need assessment. Um, I got all India rank 1 in both of these uh, exams and now. So, um, Amazing. Great. I mean, so you have always improved. There is nothing more to improve and thankfully exams are also over. Yeah, so you, hopefully. <laughs> you finished at the top now. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> great, great. So, um, you know, there is a lot of uh, lack of awareness on NEET SS, particularly in radiology. Most people take up radio considering the end branch and then very soon realize that's a myth, you know, that we do have to super specialize into some part of imaging. So when did you have an idea that, okay, I want to pursue intervention or I want to pursue a, a DM degree? Okay, ma'am, actually... Uh... Actually, my, my sister is also a radiologist. She is three mm. years senior to me. So she led me in this pathway that, yeah, you have to go for su super specialization or sub-specialization in radiology. Every branch, ma'am, right now, I think uh, the future is about sub-specialization or super-specialization. So, ma'am, in my final year of, ma'am, we had good exposure of interventional radiology in Subdajan also. And I had decided I had good mentors in Subdajan. And I decided mm. that, uh, yeah, maybe IR is for me. And ma'am, like mm. I have read, there is, so there is a study of radiologists in India done in 2023. And ma'am, they told like it also showed that about 60 to 70 percent residents are willing to go for some subspecialization or super specialization, but some are going, some are not going. And ma'am, progressively the trend of the number of people giving super speciality exam has also increased. Like ma'am, in 2021 to 2024, it was between 200 to 300. And ma'am, this year, I think 492 people appeared for super speciality exam. Mm -hmm. So ma'am, the trend is also increasing, opportunities also there. And ma'am, radio is, I think, the one branch that uh, I don't think that you forget it. If you have worked yeah. really hard in your residency, it is not that you will forget your imaging. Uh, that is that is for life. And you can add some, there is some, some cherry on the top after you do some uh, fellowship or super specialization. Absolutely, absolutely agreed. So when you go about the entrances, how was your preparation? Because again, lack of resources, lack of guidance as to what to do. I think there's nothing, you know, about uh, radiology, particularly a lot of uh, stuff on, you know, medicine, surgery, yeah, medicine, which are surgery, core yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, speciality yeah. branches. But so how did you navigate and what was the exam like? You know, did you really need resources or our baseline exam prep is enough? Okay, ma'am, like, uh, Okay, I'll tell you um, that this two, mm. I have two opinions regarding this and I think both of them lead to one single conclusion. First, I, I will con conclude it in a way that how what is the difference between yeah. NEET PG and NEET SS. So mm. NEET PG is about 19 subjects out of which you are going to pursue one subject or some part of another subject in your life. But NEET SS, is, it is not like that. It is that about one, that one core subject which you are going to pursue for your life. So uh, it is not like NEET PG, whatever we do, whatever BTR does that we try to concise all the subjects so that we can revise in the end and give it our best on that one day. But it, I think that super speciality is not like that. It is a journey of three years of your residency and it is not like that you have to concise because you cannot concise. Actually, you are, there is one big subject. So it it, it, it it is a reverse pattern. You need to ask it out. You need to do all whatever there it, it is there to read. And ma'am, yeah. obviously MCQ practice Obviously, ma'am, ma rank 1 or rank 2 or rank, I think top 10, top 15, top 20, it is a matter of luck here and there. It mm -hmm. is not like, it is some, so you need to have some skills about MCQ also, how to approach an exam, how to rule out options, what we did in need PG, that ruling out is more important than 
getting to into one single option like that so yeah ma'am or yeah. uh, to throughout my residency i had uh, i read extensively uh, through preparing from textbooks prepare, reading more articles and ma'am if you are and you report and radiology is all about reporting so before you report any case you should be thorough with that disease with that pattern and once you have seen that case so that you, that reflects in your final exam also in your whether it be md whether it be any entrance exam or whether any institutional exam so yeah. my my opinion about that was that you have to read extensively and obviously just before the exam you cannot read all the the every material yeah. but that reflects because you have reported some case in your first year or second year or third year pg and then you the strike it okay uh, this i have read this i have reported maybe it is like this maybe they have made like mm-hmm. this but yeah obviously mcq practice also plays an important role and yes ma'am as you correctly told there is actually no good uh, resource for radiology mcq currently in uh, practice in india yes ma'am yeah so basically it all adds up right like you said it's not something ki aap next sprint mara and prepare kar liya now it is all for life right this is yeah. knowledge that you are building for life and that's from day one of your residency till you know till you practice radiology the knowledge keeps adding up and and i think if you've been a good resident and that's what shows in you it you kind of will do well in this exam it is not an exam which is like uh, neat pg as you said jahan pe aapne end mein prepare kar liya and you can get ahead this is where it's a chronic preparation and keep it like that there is no acute sprint that you really have to uh, run so so overall uh, let's go back to your residency now and and tell you know the residents who are viewing what should an ideal residency look like what what should you be doing uh, is your focus more on academics or more on reporting cases or or a mixture of both okay ma'am uh, again it is it it goes in both ways like in you know in my institute subdivision hospital so we had regular classes we had regular case discussions so yeah emphasis mm-hmm. is there on academics but majoritylyly you work you learn that is the core mm-hmm. of medicine that is why it is called the housemanship that you stay there you see the patients you learn you do an ultrasound then you think that okay whether this patient needs a ct then you go you get a ct you call your clinician clinician friends you call surgery people you call medicine people get that follow up and then you come to a conclusion so ma'am yeah working yeah. i think uh, working is the and ma'am actually government set up in india ma'am it is like nowhere else in the world you get so much exposure you get so much hands on and ma'am i think that that experience has led to us uh, being ahead than so many other people in so many different countries about the clinical or the clinical skills so ma'am i think that yeah academics is important and it starts ma'am actually in if you pass out from a good institute ma'am actually ma'am like aims or subdivision you know, something like that obviously ma'am you get mm-hmm. you get close with the consultants you take uh, take regular discussions but ma'am one thing i have understood in my residency and in my use itself that a uh, best way of learning is teaching if you can simplify mm-hmm. some topic for someone that only means that you have understood that topic if you feel that okay i can it is very complex i cannot explain this to you it means that you have not got the concept so yeah regular discussion with your friends your juniors and your seniors all these things will lead out you getting a good concept for yourself ma'am yeah how was your residency like like what were your working hours how was your postings uh, you know how how did you go about your residency Uh, okay. Ma'am, actually, uh, we had ten postings, ten different postings in our department. Ma'am, uh, ranging from ma'am X-ray, the fluoroscopy, ultrasound, non-vascular interventions, CT, MRI, and vascular intervention. All this had in different different postings. Ma'am, we used to get one month posting in each. Actually, ma'am, in my batch, there, we were fourteen residents, and there were actually ten postings. So, all every alternate month, approximately, we we used to be posted in cross-sectional and or vascular. Uh, so ma'am those months uh, it is very hectic you have to finish you have to you are working like hell and alternate months like usc posting or x ray posting or a fluoroscopy like. posting would be uh, relatively like that uh, so ma'am yeah okay. ct i think but maximum learning we used to be in those time when we were posted in cross sectional because yeah. out of your comfort zone not getting sleep just trying to yes. get everything and that was actually very helpful ma'am yeah. 
yeah it it seems very tough at the moment but in the end you know you look back and you realize that that's when you learned the most when you were reporting maximum i have yeah. always learned when i have reported cases you try to run away you know in jr ship you are like no no i want to study and then i will report that is never going to happen so that's one tip for residents that wo wait mat karo aapko kabhi bhi nahi aayega you report the more you report the more you learn the cases teach you the maximum you know so that is there uh, what about Board. your thesis what was your thesis Ma'am, my thesis was uh, um, HRCT chest scoring in idiopathic uh, fibrosis scoring in idiopathic interstitial lung disease. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, what What is your take on writing papers? Uh, during residency, how uh, could you uh, do any research or or could you publish your thesis? I think now no, you would be working on it. So, ma'am, I published case reports here and there. I have I have presented papers and poster in conferences. Yeah. But yeah, ma'am, proper yeah. research article actually I did not get time. Ma'am, mm -hmm. being a very high volume center and workload was yeah. massive in um, the hospital. Yeah, so, yeah. so ma'am, we did not get. I have not written. Yeah, thesis mm -hmm. work is going on with my uh my my guide, but yeah, it is not yet published. Yeah, that's good. I mean, see any JR. If you are writing case reports, that's a good enough skill. Try to, uh, you know, tag along with senior residents and write uh, review articles. That's a skill which is very easy now with AI. You know, writing review articles mm -hmm. is very very easy. So that's something that you should definitely work on. And as you said, do your thesis well, and that leads you on to writing a lot of original articles because वो तीन साल का study आपको और कभी life में time नहीं मिलेगा करने का. So that is something which is great. So now let's talk about. But we've talked enough about your residency. Uh, let's talk about how the exam was. So the students who are preparing for NEET SS now, what would be your advice? You know, apart from you know just being regular in the residency and preparing well for MD, is there anything special? If you can take us through how the exam was, how the questions were, and if you think you know there is something special that can be done. Okay, uh, ma'am. Uh, actually, ma'am, there are one fifty questions and one fifty minutes. Uh, ma'am, and. uh this time first time they have introduced a pattern that after 50 minutes you cannot uh, open the question 1 to 50 like they have divided three sections oh, 50 minutes for 50 okay. questions it is it was like that and uh, every sub section was uh, concentrated on some specific like i think the first part was women and breast imaging and i was like gaya main to mujhe nahi aata women nahi aata breast nahi aata and then second part you get git then third part was ir so yeah man like a mixture of those so they have specific specific so my take on it was first i was scared ki yaar kya kya hai koi aur question aa hi nahi raha breast hai aur woman imaging hai mai kya karunga yaar but yeah so if, if people are good at it it is okay some next year maybe ir section will be first and someone would have no experience in ir then also okay keep your calm theek hai aur koi section aa jayega jo tumhe aata hai basically sab pad ke jana hai ye nahi ki mujhe ir karna hai to sirf ir pad ke gaya hai you need to study everything every system फिजिक्स physics is one hmm. thing which are in our residency level or wherever we go we just uh, read for the exam purpose ki end end mein pad liya matlab hmm. imp question important questions pad liye final exam de diya so i think th there were i think about 13 questions of physics and around hmm. uh, 18 to 20 questions of ir and ma'am hmm. so these two things i think would have made that difference for because yeah. ma'am all other thing i think everyone have some exposure 80% i think 70 to 80% everyone would be confident about they, they were not out of out of the box questions like very difficult questions they had touched the basics only only i think there was one one question on syndromes that i had left that pata hi nahi kaun sa syndrome hai so don't have to run after syndromes obviously yeah yeah, yeah. so ma'am uh, i think physics physics and ir these two things were those things that you have to prepare differently because these two things you will not get regular training in most of the centers in uh, in india hmm. right right okay so basically focus more on all of the topics physics pe dhyan dena hai theory padh ke jana hai of physics right that that does matter so so that's nice you also mentioned one more exam that you topped 
Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, actually, uh, IRIA, ICRA have done, they have started one uh, very good initiative that is the FICRA exam. So, ma'am, they have okay. collaborated with multiple set. Like, ma'am, usually still last three years we used to like if you want to do some fellowship, you have to apply at all institutes. Jaki institution mm-hmm. exam dena. But, ma'am, this these people they have started this exam that I think there are around eighty to hundred seats of that seven seats of IR, around thirty seats of fetal medicine, two four or five seats of MSK, and ma'am, they have nationalized that exam. So, I mean, that's okay. actually a very good initiative and someone who is willing for one year mm-hmm. fellowship. And obviously, I'm, all the institutes have not enrolled in this exam. But yeah, if they have that yes. institute what they, which they want to get in and it is in that um, uh, list of institutes of that, they can actually give that exam and get a direct entry into the yeah. fellowship. That is nice because th- that's what I think students lack is a structure. Ki MD to ho gaya na, what next, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So these are two very good options that you have just opened up. Ki kisi ko agar three-year DM nahi karna, then fellowship is a very good option. And, and to have a streamlined pathway makes it very simple. So so this is for fellowship, right? Oh, yeah, ma'am. There's one FET exam also that is conducted yeah. by NBE. I think they have neuro intervention in it. I don't know whether they have other branch. Actually, I don't have, I have not given that exam. Right. So I don't have much. Okay. So uh, in the DM NEET SS, uh, what are all the uh, DM options which are available currently? Ma'am, all are IR only. Ma'am. I think around 40 seats are there, about uh, 40, hmm. 20 DM seats and 20 DRNB seats are there. About, uh, ma'am, so only IR? Are, yeah, ma'am, only IR. All right. All right. Okay. So that's nice. Uh, so what, what are you planning to do now? Where are you planning to take up IR? Ma'am, I'm, I'm aspiring to join KMCH Coimbatore, ma'am, for my okay. DRNB three year course. Ma'am. Right. What is the current like preference list? I, I'm sure everybody will have their own preference depending on the cities, but what would be your ideal list? You know, if a junior will ask you, ki kaun si college is best hai for IR, what would be your rating? Uh, ma'am, actually, ma'am, there it depends on the spectrum, ma'am. Like, mm-hmm. um, there are some institutes which provide a very good spectrum about one thing. Some institute mm-hmm. around uh, thing other, and ma'am, like someone would have a preference of city or city also. Okay, मुझे यहाँ पे करना यहाँ पे नहीं करना, ma'am. Yeah, so, ma'am, yeah. I think that is very individualistic. Uh, where anyone mm-hmm. want, wants to do, okay. I think KMCH is one institute which is providing a uh, whole spectrum. So I have opted for that. Like, ma'am, every institute right. is different, ma'am. It is not like um, one specific mm-hmm. EA for Yeah, it's best to prioritize based on your preference. First, narrow down the city and then maybe find out from, you know, residents who are already pursuing as to how, you know, the colleges. Great. Okay, so I think it was very insightful. And uh, thank you so much, Adit, for talking to me and uh, eConceptual and wishing you all the very best for the journey ahead. Uh, I I hope you don't have to get more rank ones because there are no more exams in your life. So wishing you a great career ahead as as a uh, interventional radiologist and hoping to see you soon somewhere down the line. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. It's thank nice you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>